This is Black Views, bringing you the Black News. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. How are you today, brothers and sisters? FBA all day, going hard in the paint like no other. Today, I bring you another anti-black story. Today, we're coming out of Ohio, okay? And this is basically basically uh, a, a group of black women were approached by some, I guess, uh, you know, white guys. And they also say that there was a, a, a fourth person, but they think that person was biracial. We don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and play you the clip, and then we'll come back. I'll read you some of the article that I found, and then I'll come back with my final uh, thoughts on this particular report. College campuses are supposed to be safe places for students to learn and prepare for what's to come next in life. Now, an early morning weekend incident involving Ohio University students has some people shaken. A group of black students allegedly were followed and had racial insults hurled at them. They were threatened with handguns. With handguns, okay. Stuff like that doesn't happen here very often. I mean, seeing that it was kind of racially charged, it was kind of disheartening. This is inappropriate FBA black uh, behavior. In fact, I don't know if he's FBA, but I'm just saying this is inappropriate. Just just listen to how he responds to this. Uh, unbelievable. He doesn't believe this is happening on this uh, diverse campus in Ohio. We thank you for joining us today for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jared Smalley. I'm Colleen Marshall. In tonight for Jennifer Bullock. NBC4's Anna Hoffman tells us OU students that she's been talking with say this is out of character. Ohio University police say a group of women were walking around here on East Union Street around 1.30 a.m. Sunday. They say they saw two groups of men arguing, using racist slurs, and tried to stand up to them. Shocked. You know, very, very shocked. Students at Ohio University say Sunday. He's shocked. Inappropriate behavior. He's shocked. In 2023, he is shocked at this type of behavior. Now, keep in mind, these young young women, or I assume that they're young ladies because they were at a university, they decided to challenge some white guys who used the word, the N-word. Use, you know, they used that word, and they, wanted, they took it upon themselves to uh, approach these guys and, and say something to them in reference but but just just think about this this is where we are today where our black women will approach a group of white men about saying the n-word okay all right let's go day they received a crime notification they never thought they would see at this school when you get like one of the emails about it it's usually something insane um mm -hmm. but it's not very frequent so we're kind of concerned. Ohio University police say just after 1.30 Sunday morning, three students, all black women, were walking on East Union Street when they saw two groups of men. Two groups across the street from them arguing, two groups of males. Uh, and they heard the use of the N-word in that, and one of the victims decided to challenge the, those people with the use of that word. Police say one group left. She decided to, with the use of that word, decided to. But the other stayed and followed the women. At that point, uh, the suspects in the case uh, were yelling racial epithets at the victims and displayed firearms um, for turning and heading back towards court. Just to show you how much cow uh, suspected white supremacists are, that they will actually brandish their weapon at females. First of all, they're in a conversation and they're using the N-word. That's going that that's just going to get the attention of a black person. They're just going to look over that way. Because you just you're saying that whether you're talking to them or not, they're going to look over there. Now, them being ladies, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they, they could have kept it moving. I know some guys probably would say, Hold up, man, you know, maybe I said something. But we are in a uh time now where uh white kids, young white people are allowed to use the n-word uh the n-word is just another bad word they just can't say it at work they can't say it in public but they 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 certainly will say it because they'll say they heard it in a rap song and this is not addressed 
by rappers, by the way. When rappers decide they want to use, you know, the N-word, they, they don't say, you know, hey, that's for our people or, or whatever. No, they just say that shit and they get paid the millions of dollars. And then the average Joe out here is going to use the N-word because it's in a song that he likes. And then suddenly you'll find out all of a sudden we'll just be get, being called niggas by white people because it's in a song. Okay, let me move forward. I'm sorry. Street. Police say these are the men they believe are responsible. 36 hours later, students are still in shock, and they say this is out of character for this school. A little bit disappointed for sure, all of us just talking about it. I mean, seeing that it was kind of racially charged, it was kind of disheartening. I mean, it's 2023. You would think those things don't really happen on a campus as diverse as this. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Like, the brother is like, like, I mean, he can't, I mean, I'm not saying he has to go all out and be a Furcon or a Malcolm X, but God damn, I mean, he, you know, he, you know, he, he, he can't believe this is happening. You know, this is, this is, you know, on a campus like this, that's, that is as diverse as this. No one uh, is so diverse that you just saw his black ass walking in the video. Ohio University officials sent out this statement in response to the incident. It reads in part, we can be unequivocally clear on this. The bigotry and threats of violence displayed by the perpetrators in this incident are unacceptable. I don't really fear those kind of people. It's cowards, if anything, you know, brandishing firearms against, you know, young women and people just trying to have a good time. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't stand for that kind of stuff here. Students I spoke with. We don't stand for that kind of stuff here. Okay, now look at this steel that I have here. How diverse is this? I mean, I'm just saying, he said it was as diverse, but I haven't seen any, any anybody else. Say whether those responsible are students or not, they should be ashamed. Ohio University police say those responsible could be facing aggravated menacing charges. They say they're putting all their resources into finding those people and ask anyone with information to contact them right away. Local for you in Athens, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4. College campuses are supposed to be safe. Okay, so I want to thank Anna Hoffman for providing us with that wonderful report. Now I'm going to move over to this uh, article here. Uh, by the Athens Messenger, okay, and Ohio University Police Department seeks information on alleged racial incident. Okay, now I want you to keep in mind what we heard in that report, and then we'll go over here to our written report. Ohio University Police Department is investigating a Sunday morning incident in which four individuals al allegedly displayed firearms and used racial slurs while while talking to a group of female students. Okay. <clears throat> Sunday evening, intern president for diversity and inclusion, Russell Morrow, and dean of students, Kathy Fall, um, issued a joint statement condemning the incident, reaffirming OU's commitment to diverse diversity and offering support to the affected students. According to the report, OUPD respond, responded to reports of individuals displaying firearms in the area of East Union Street and University Terrace. A group of three females who are black reported hearing two groups of males arguing. Now, alrighty, you see where the problem is. Two other groups of males were arguing. And had, I mean, now, granted, they did say the N-word. Okay. On East Union Street near Shunikova Center, according to the report, the victims advised that they overheard the males using the N-word. One of the victims yelled to the individuals to challenge their use of the N-word. So she said something like, hey, motherfucker, I hear you saying, nigga, keep that shit up. One of the group of males, one of the group of males left the area. So one group was like, man, let's get out of here. The other group consisting of three white males and one biracial black male. Followed the woman of Jeff Hill and allegedly yelled racial epithets at them. So, okay, so now it's a biracial, one biracial 
or black male. So another so so this is what they're saying, right? Even though you didn't see a black male in the in the pictures that they provided, they had to throw in that it's a fourth person. And it, no, he's not Hispanic. No, he's not Arab. No, he's not. He's not uh anything. It's it's just another black male, biracial or black male. So saying though that he was biracial, he was fair skinned and. They're trying to tell us like this is just a group of guys and you know black guy was with them and they're yelling fucking racial epithets. Like I'm saying, this is insane. You know, th this don't make no sense, bro. Okay. Two of the males then threatened the victims with what appeared to be firearms with laser sights and reported the males fled on foot towards Court Street. Officers searched the area but were unable to locate them. OUPD staff Lieutenant Tim Ryan said one of the college-age males suspects was not seen. See, look, one of them was not seen on the surveillance camera. So the agency does not have a description. The other three suspects were described as white male wearing blue hooded uh, sweatshirt, black pants, and black shoes. White male wearing green t-shirt, black track pants, Black beanie and white shoes. White male wearing dark green coat and orange accent. I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm sorry. With orange accent, blue jeans, and white shoes. See? So it says right here, this is all they see is three white males, but they had to throw in the first or fourth person and say that that person was either biracial or he was black. But no, he couldn't have been Hispanic or any other type of other uh, loser ass buffer class uh, uh, type of uh, hating ass uh, people. OK, in their statement, I'm not going to read all this because it's the people who have it's just asking about people who may have information. In their statement, Mara and Fall noted that the, investiga the investigation into the incident may take time to resolve. However, we can be immediately equivalently clear on this the bigotry and threats of violence displayed by the, the perpetrators in the incident are abhorrent and unacceptable. Abhorrent and unacceptable. So I, I'm not going to go through this whole article, but if you want to see the article, I'll leave a link in, in the um, description. And um, I mean, just, 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 just think about what we're talking about here. Just think about what we're talking about. More anti-black behavior. This will happen. This, is, this was reported today. Um, probably about four hours ago, more anti-black behavior, behavior, and it's being revved up. Oh, it's being revved up. Now they they approaching black women and pulling firearms, and but but the officials, the police, the media, okay. And, and first of all, now I can't remember, but. Early on in that video, she said that they, she didn't say it was a biracial person. Like nobody said it was anybody biracial. They said they, they said some white, basically white men, you know, school age men approached them and brandished weapons. Then you get to this to the reading report, and it tells you that there was a fourth person, and that person was either black or biracial. So already, you can tell that media is starting to take their play into things and to try to twist the story so that it doesn't appear to be a racial issue and that it's just some guys uh, that had an argument. Oh, by the way, one of them was black. One of them was biracial, so it couldn't have been black because they was with a black guy, so it couldn't have been. So, so just think about this. When they put these stories out, they don't want no problems and problems in um, in Ohio Ohio University or the surrounding areas. They don't want people coming over to East Union Street and trying to figure out. Oh yeah, y'all pull guns on black women. You see what I'm saying? They don't want those problems, so they're going to say, "Oh no, it was a black guy too." You know, he was biracial, just a person we don't see. He's nowhere near them. He just escaped. He's nowhere in these, none of these pictures or descriptions. They don't even have a description of him. All they have is those three white guys. Oh, but by the way, there was a black guy that was with him. So this wasn't a racial incident. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. I'd like to hear your opinion on this. I would also like if you comment, click the like button and also subscribe.
This is Black Views, bringing you the Black News. <laughs>